Wicked Laser's Laser Cube has a mounting socket with a quarter inch diameter and 20 threads per inch. This is common on most cameras and tripods. It also has an eye bolt for extra protection from falling. The Laser Cube can stand on a shelf with the rubber feet provided. It can easily be mounted on a tripod. With the proper hardware, it can be mounted on walls, ceilings, light stands, and stage trusses. Make sure to review the laser safety video, which is linked in the description below. When mounting your laser cube, the cooling vent may be partially blocked, but it is important to let some air continue to flow. You'll also need to access the ports and controls on the back of the laser cube. To mount the laser cube on a wall, you'll need an L-shaped bracket, two washers, two screws, a safety cable and carabiner, and the included adapter screw. Make sure the bracket and other hardware are sturdy enough to handle the weight of your model of laser cube. Mount the bracket to a wall stud. Do not mount in drywall alone. Insert the safety cable through the rear hole on the bracket and loop the other end through. Clip the carabiner to the free end of the safety cable and attach it to the eye bolt of the laser cube. Mount the laser cube on the bracket with the included adapter screw. In this example, we're using a T-type ceiling anchor with a quarter inch thread, a tripod head to control the angle of the laser show, two screws, safety cable, and carabiner. Attach the safety cable to the inside of the ceiling anchor. Attach the ceiling anchor with safety cable to the ceiling or wooden crossbeam. Do not mount in drywall alone. Remove the sled from the tripod head. Attach the tripod head to the ceiling anchor. Attach the tripod's sled to the bottom of the laser cube. Attach the safety cable to the laser cube eye bolt with a carabiner. Attach the laser cube to the tripod head. Adjust the angle of the tripod head as needed. Since the laser cube is mounted upside down, make sure to flip the projection in the Y axis within Laser OS. If your truss has a rounded crossbar, one of the safest ways to mount your laser cube is using an O-clamp. Mounting with a tripod head is the preferred method as it gives you the flexibility to swivel and tilt your laser cube. In this example, we'll use an O-clamp, a 5 8 inch long, quarter inch diameter hex bolt with 20 threads per inch, a lock washer, a tripod head, a safety cable, and a carabiner. If your O-clamp has a bolt installed for mounting lights, replace it with our quarter-inch hex bolt. Using a lock washer keeps it securely fastened. Screw your tripod head onto the end of the quarter-inch bolt. If your tripod head has a sled, remove it and attach it to the bottom of your laser cube. Mount the O-clamp onto the truss with the tripod head facing down. Loop the safety cable around the truss bar and feed it through itself. Attach the carabiner. Attach the safety cable to your laser cube eye bolt and attach the laser cube to the tripod head with the sled. Adjust as necessary. Because the laser cube is mounted upside down, make sure to flip the Y axis in Laser OS. If your truss has a square or rectangular crossbar, you can use a C-clamp or other type of clamp appropriate for your application. Be creative and be safe.